Okay, the much. next email. Good evening. My name is Bisola. Oh. Sorry. Okay. I'm a graduate of Unilad. I'm currently working with a good firm. Permit me to toot my horn, but I'm quite understanding intellectually, personality, and I'm quite empathetic. Although I have average looks, I have put a lot of admirers, both men and women, in my 23 years on surface earth. But I have a current issue. So Bisola says that she's 23 years old, she has a lot of admirers, and there's a guy she loves, his name is Afam. Where's mm. Afam? Afam, that should be... Probably from Akwaibo. Akwaibo, 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 Akwaibo. He's what my heart wants without a dad, but he has a girlfriend. Okay, this is also the same situation again. He's what my heart wants, but without, but he has a girlfriend in the United States, and this stands as a stranger relationship. I know he genuinely still cares for her, but he also shows me immense amount of care and love too. <laughs> I want him and his girlfriend to work things out, but he gets cranky when I mention that to him. He also hasn't broken up with her yet, but he professes and shows how much he cares. He gets jealous when I get advances and I do get them a lot. The one that's about to bring the comments back is the attention I got from a close friend of his. Um, so she's asking, am I wasting my time? Can I, I think this is, I think this is similar her, to... She's wasting her time, sure. No, this one, at least he told that he was genuine with her and told her that he has a girlfriend. I think I've said this thing here before and I'm going to say it again. My friend wasted her time five years with somebody that had a girlfriend outside the country and he did not see Maria. You see, when the girl got back to Nigeria, he left my friend and went to his, um, we used to call her the Euro babe. The Euro babe don't come back. He went back to the Euro babe and he got married to her. They got married recently. She's even in Nigeria currently now because they are doing another Which photo shoot. Your friend or yeah. the or the <clears throat> guy? The guy's girlfriend, the Euro okay. babe, as we would, as we would call her. Okay. And even my friend even saw she was crying and saying raining courses on him, it will not be better for you, it will be this, but you knew. Long distance relationship, these are my own thoughts. And I know people will disagree with this, but in the past, people didn't long distance relationships could not they couldn't really survive in the past. But this one survived now. The... This look according to the story I'm saying, because okay. now he's saying that. Like you said, now long distance relationship does not like survive and all this thing. But this particular person now, he still likes the girl that is in the US. That's what he should, according to what she wrote. Okay. He likes the person that is in the US, but he's still giving her the attention that she needs. He's giving her everything. And in my own friend's case, now that's how the case was. He had a girlfriend outside the country, but he made my friend like the priority in Nigeria. Because obviously, he was not seeing that girl. Okay. Like you said, sometimes everybody, they are cheating and the rest. To him now, he was. I don't know, but maybe, I don't know, but maybe it's like overtaking it allowed for my friend in her head. Maybe overtaking, she will overtake and all those things, but it was not like that. Because I feel like the guy, I don't know if he had already promised that girl marriage and all those things. So I don't know, like somebody said, maybe they swear oaths and all those things, but he still went back to her. That is the thing. Mm -hmm. And he had been with my friend for five good years. They had been together. She was not even like in any other relationship and all. So that's, that's the thing, Sha. It was a very, very short um, story. The person... So you are saying this that... one is not giving her attention now. This one he made her like a like he likes her. And come to what she said, she said even if people are are like admiring her or telling her how she looks good, he gets jealous. He's okay. very do you understand? So he's already giving her over that okay, I like you, I want you, and oh, I only want you. I don't want to share you with any other person. But at the same time, he still has somebody that he's dating outside, outside the, country. the country. And you know why this is different? Because this is a guy. He's the one in Nigeria now, so maybe if the girl comes, guys, I don't know, but they can just easily change their mind. And in, immediately, if girl says, "I'm coming to Nigeria now," you just dump this other girl. Okay, so in the previous story that we narrated about the Nigerian girl, mm -hmm. she was she was the one in Nigeria. The boyfriend was the one in Canada. In, Canada. Yeah. in this particular story, the lady is dating the guy whose girlfriend is abroad. Yes. But when it comes to deciding who gets married, um men tend to have a lot more power than women because it's the man who proposes when deciding on who gets to have sex or who gets to um, become a father it's in the hands of the woman okay so in this particular story the woman is the lady is dating a guy whose girlfriend is abroad okay and then she thinks that the girlfriend will it's two ways okay it's two ways um I really, I really, I, I think this one, this, this is a very, very hard one for me. It's, it's tricky. You know, let's, let's just, let's ask a couple of people for their thoughts. Um, 
If you want, if you want to join the chat, I'll meet your mic. Let's let's okay. have your talk. I said um, this in reeks of of selfishness, and then you have somebody outside the country, the one in Nigeria. You are shielding her. You are showing her love, care, everything, making her comfortable. Despite the fact that she knows that there is somebody there, but you're making her feel that that person doesn't matter. It's you I see. It's you I want. And then she has built her hopes around you, like this is my final bus stop. So when somebody else is seeing her, she doesn't want to even see the person. And all of a sudden, you are getting married to your abroad girlfriend. The selfishness. This is selfishness. And not only that you kept her waiting for years, you are also selfish to the other one there because emotionally you've been waging yourself here. And again, you know that you marrying that one, they'll give you an upper hand or assistance to get a green card. And then you move. <laughs> it's selfishness. On the ladies' part in Nigeria, it is... um sorry to say stupidity because for me i won't see a guy who i know that has a girlfriend outside this country and tells me don't worry she i am not seeing her oh god please you are seeing her even if you are not seeing her physically you are seeing her on facetime you are seeing her in dollars you are seeing her either in pounds or euro oh god please you are seeing her let me see the other guys in Nigeria and let me see Naira move with that one. Because let me tell you, see, once a guy is determined to keep a long distance relationship with a lady who is outside this country, it's either it's the girl abroad that says no to the relationship or the family of the girl that says no, not even the boy's mother can put an end to that relationship so what you're saying in essence is that in this particular case the guy is maintaining the relationship with the girl abroad for either financial or for selfish reasons for financial aid and also for an added advantage to leave the country cool. there is All no right. two ways about it so this this is it so let's just bring this so for this the summary of this is that if you're the one who sent this email in, um, the consensus is you are wasting your time with him. Okay, he has more incentive to keep the abroad relationship going than to keep the relationship going with you. If if the if lady asks, for instance, or she gets residency, or she gets pay and all that, it's it's his own benefit. Okay, so chances are that you're just being you are you are being played. Okay, so just move on. Let's, I guess that's the summary of that. Let's. What if the guy wasn't honest to the girl about the girlfriend? <laughs> Even if the guy wasn't honest, it is still being selfish. If the guy is honest and he's not honest, it's still being selfish. Because no you think no way. Let me ask you something now. You as a guy, if you know that I the lady, I'm in a relationship eh, with another guy. And I, I'm telling you, don't worry. It is you that I am seeing. Be sincere with yourself. Will you take me serious? See, see, listen, listen. Let me, let me, let me tell you something. The whole thing is still in the hands of the girl. You understand? It's still the girl the that has the right to, to be either be with him or not. At the initial see, the guy, the guy said he has a girlfriend up there. So why will you, your right senses, start considering that? and this one that so i feel that but you know that he's how like it now he's shielding her away from other guys he wants her for himself too only for himself do you understand okay he's shooting her from other other guys but yeah. the guy the guy is saying that he loves she loves she loves him and she is she she don't, she don't what love is her. selfishness maybe there is something that the girl is enjoying that's why the girl keeps on saying that she loves him He's just being, the guy is just being selfish. See, I see that guy as a manipulator. There's nothing more. He's manipulative. And again, for her to be a very young lady, he knows how to manipulate her emotions, her thinking. How do you know? 
How do you know that he manifested his emotions? The story was not there now. See, man, manipulating someone's emotions doesn't need you to be with that person for one year. When you listen to how the person talks, you know this person is not experienced. You manipulate the person with your words. Women are actually attracted to what they hear. Baby, don't worry. I love you. It's you I want. You are showing her attention, giving her what she wants, and then you are shielding her from other men. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Okay. Miracle, okay. what do you have to say? If, if at the initial stage, the guy can tell the girl that he, he has a girlfriend, then why would the girl not go ahead with it? Why can't she just cut it from the initial stage than creating some kind of creating feelings ahead of that? So, why would the guy, why would he come up there and be honest with the girl? And later you still have to you you have to continue with it. Why can't you just as a girl just okay stop it out? I cannot go ahead since I know that you have a girlfriend up there because it is still in the hands of the girl. If as a guy, if me as a guy, I'm coming to you, I'm telling you that I have a baby, but maybe still wrong things. And you as a girl, you are agreeing to that, and you come back to me, tell me that. Why did you agree to it initially? If not, yes, now because you're not agree to it, and you're not come to me. I am. You understand? And you are saying, guy, you will not, you you will not open your mouth to tell me that you have a baby, but then you tell me me will continue to the wrong thing. No, 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 Okay, I think playing playing game. The thing is, if it does not work for this one, it will work for this one. That's what the yeah. girl is trying to do. He's playing a yeah. game. He's playing a game. He's not playing. Let me let me say something. By the girl abroad comes in to the picture and says, "Okay, let us move on." And she's is going to actually leave the Nigerian lady alone. And then if by chance thing... um, the lady abroad settles him or give him one big amount of money, that he can easily just move on. If he definitely stay with the Nigerian person that is actually with him, Mr. Hall is actually yeah. just trying to play a game. He's using the Nigerian girl right, to right, pass right, time. So. That's it. Um, Mr. Host, this girls enjoy. See, Mr. Host, this thing now that this this same story that we read now is this situation that I have my friend in the UK right now. It's she and the guy they are in the UK, in the UK, and she the guy has a girlfriend in the US, and both of them are in the UK. Now, the girl's family is in the US. The guy's family is in the US. His mom, dad in the US. But the guy in the UK. Now, the, she got to find out about... Um, the guy didn't tell her. She got to find out through a text message that entered the guy's phone. You know, and then she was holding the phone when the, the message came in. So she saw the name. The guy saved the name as mine alone so she saw the, the name and the number then she gave the phone to the guy so out of guilty conscience now the guy now told her that um well i have something to um, tell you i have a girl friend in the u.s and um we'll be dating for some years now and um uh, i truly love you but i don't know what to do and she was like okay so if i didn't see this message coming with this name you will not have told me this truly and then he said um that um actually um she was the reason why he wanted to go to the u.s last year but he was denied the visa, visa. yeah okay. so, so he now came to the uk and now he met her in the uk and started a relationship but keeps contact with the lady now the lady in the us goes to his family house so it's like the the it's just like they, they are betrothed but they are not yet married and my friend told me and the other girls we just told her to take a walk which she did she has taken a walk but do you know something the guy hasn't left her DM. Every day, baby, I'm sorry. 
every day he comes to her house with gifts he wants to come back from work he drives straight to her house he drops gifts he drops this one dinner that trying to please her and i told her something i said this guy was just playing a two-way game if the one in the us doesn't work he falls back to you here in the uk if he's denied the visa the second time to go to the us then he falls back to you here and mind you the one in the us is already a citizen and he is just in the uk here so i just thought that to take her mind off it and the guy told her that oh yes truly um actually she's the one that i was going to the us to meet but because of what happened i came to the uk now are you ready to leave her he said he's confused <laughs> You are confused, but you want the one in the UK, you want the one in the US. <laughs> you can't be confused. This guy now is playing a, a two-way game. If the one in the US doesn't work, the one in Nigeria works. So this is just it. Okay, so I, I will say this. I will say this so that we can go to go on to the next one. Um it be said something, and then to summarize it properly. When people when people like you, right? When people truly love you, you will know. Okay, you will know when people truly really love you. When people don't love you, you will be confused. All right, and in this particular case, this person obviously does not love you. There will always be somebody there. There will always be somebody behind the scenes and all that. And this person, despite the fact that this person is far away from him, that person still has a hold on his life. So that means if that person comes back into the into the picture, it's going to be extremely easy to dislodge you. Okay, so just keep that at the back of your mind. All right. Well, you are still twenty three years old, so you probably still have time to learn the hard way. Okay, but we will just tell you, don't waste your time. Just move on. <laughs>